What is up guys? We are back finally, back in Connecticut. It's been a long time. This awesome trip, it's good to be back. And uh, how I've missed this thing. And you, of course. Not you, not you. Advantage of the weather, it's a nice day. Take the 14 out. I'm gonna just enjoy the day. Missed all of fall in Connecticut. It's been a crazy couple weeks. If you guys missed those videos, Japan was incredible. Vegas was sick. Dagnell painted the vice while I was gone. I can see. He's, he's burnt. He did a good job. <laughs> Nuts. Take the 14 out. And then we're back to uh, this thing this week. There's a lot I need to do. There's a lot I want to do. Change all the fluids. Hopefully gonna get my bumper back this week. So with that being said, I'm gonna shut up and uh, let's, let's see if this thing will still start. Hell yeah. Let's cruise. Starts up. No issues. Such a good car. F I'd miss this thing. And you. I'll get to you. All right, so a little update at Mike G shop. Little update, because things have changed. I've been gone for a little bit, but me and Aunt got the cars out. We've been trying to find us, find him a car wash all day because he didn't want to wash it himself. Been gone too, so it's been just been sitting in his driveway. But the 14 drives like it normally does. Drives great. I love driving this car a lot and uh, the time of day that this car does best in, most people's cars, magic hour is like the money shot when the sun's going down. This thing looks so good when it's like gloomy out because it tones it down a little bit. The windows pop, the wheels, I don't know. It just works so well when it's gloomy out. He's been working on this Buick for a friend. His crown, you guys have seen that, his Prado. I think I need to get a little SUV for the winter. Something to bomb around in, I think. That's much needed. But Mike's been cleaning up hard at work, selling stuff, buying stuff. Typical Mike stuff. It's good, come back, it's all cleaned over there. New rentee is in, the, in, in now. Got a new car, Sima. Look at this thing. This thing's huge, and it's in really good shape. Very well. These most of these big body cars that come from Japan, they're all relatively in good shape. Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza classics. Yakuza cool. So he got a Harley too. Little update. He traded some BM BMX bikes for it. He did pretty damn good. Why is my lens like this? Fuck. I don't know what that smudge was on my lens, but. He traded some BMX bikes for, what is this, a Road King Glide? 03 Road King. Road King, 03. Got the bags and everything, I'm just working on it. Yeah, he's got it stripped apart. It was complete, but. I, can I show him the little ding dong? Mike had a, a little uh-oh accident. He stepped on the hood. I didn't step on it, that's my knee. Oh, that was your knee. It was dark as fuck in here, and I was trying to get some light, and I walked into the front of the car. It took me out, I went down. You went down? I went down. I would have stayed down. Oh shit, is bruised. It could be worse, but it's still annoying. I won't even drive the car until it's fixed. You could see it. Someone could pull that out. They're, they're yeah, good. I'm waiting on a couple paintless dent guys to get back to me. Monday, apparently, a paintless dent guy is going to be ready to do it. So. It's not, it's kind of not that cheap, but obviously it needs to get done. It'll probably be. Yeah, cost. whatever it costs. And while he's doing that, I'm going to get, I have three other dings on the car that's always been here since I got it, so I'm going to have him take care of all of them. Yeah, I'm sure he's good. Yeah, see what happens. No, I think he has to get <laughs> pee. <laughs> you can't miss our city. Little fall foliage cruising around. I couldn't wash his car because no places are car wash friendly and there's not a whole lot of self washes there is but anyways i parked my damn car in this pile of leaves i'm like yeah it'll be cool it'll look nice i go up to it it's crinkling about to set on fire because the downpipe is right there it sounded like there was going to be a fire and that would have been real bad 
because it, it's not you can't just get in the car and go you got to lift the air suspension up you got to wait this that it's a process to park it too you know <laughs> i knew what i was getting myself into i'll admit it i knew so i hired aunt he's grabbing some photos for me real quick is that a good one you took a lot of pictures you don't take a lot of pictures huh be real huh yeah a good real spot but you have that one want to use the camera filming on it yeah that's a photo that looks good be real in the video in oh drop it in the video exactly ah they can't with the music i trick them sometimes oh, though wow. that's a good day cruising it's a nice day for it Oh, someone dumped a whole canopy right there. That's an ass move. Next day at the shop, I was so tired yesterday, me and Aunt Cruz, I went home and I slept from 8, 8 p.m. to 11 a.m. the next morning. I was so beat. I am very hyped and very eager to get back into things. It's a lot to do. I need to finish up the 13. If you guys remember before I left, before I left for Japan, uh, just got the car back from paint. It looks incredible. I still have to do the wheels. I still have to do the interior. I have to redo all the trunk interior, put it back in. Got a brand new battery. Needed that of all the trunk stuff. Hot commodity these days. I've come to a realization I've been thinking I kind of have too much stuff that I'm not doing anything with. So as you guys know, the Z, it was cool for the summer. I enjoyed it. I dailyed it for a little bit. Newer Nissans just don't hit. The cappuccino, I got that. Wanted to test it. Not really a fan of it. This in the CBR. Mm -mm. What I think I'm going to do is self everything. It's just... I don't need this. I need the room. I have an idea for like other things that I want to get into and build now that my Sylvia's are like, both of them are done. It's not going to be a 15 as much as you guys want it and as much as I want it, the time is not right. I just have to get rid of some stuff before I could do other things because I have no room. I'm running out of room. Don't really like the cappuccino. A lot of people love them. But hey, it's it's just not for me. The Z, I don't know. It's cool. It's got all the Nismo goodies on it. I ordered some wheels for it. So stay tuned because I don't want to sell it with the equipped because I want an S chassis on 19 inch something. On 19 inch wheels, it looks crazy. So I want to do that. And those are <clears throat> not the best for it because they're, they're huge. But they're 18 face equipped, so whatever i don't know what i'm gonna, i'm trying to say here I have some stuff that i want to do if you guys have any ideas for some builds that you would like to see me do practical builds that under 20k budget an off-roading vehicle would be sick i wanted to do that but i don't think it would be good for content so i don't know we're back and uh i'm probably gonna clean the 13 out a little bit and get this thing somewhat ready to put back together the interior wise we put the seats back in it and whatnot I haven't had the seats in it in a while so clean all this stuff out I got to change the oil on her what I'm gonna do now it's really not anything worth filming I just have to get it done so I'll do it and then I'll show you guys it in this I bought I had an idea for this it did not work Brand new, 2022 KLX 110L, just sits. Literally doesn't even have an hour on it. It's just stuff like that. I don't need it. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. All right, hit it with a quick vacuum, clean the dash, the center. There was all like Bondo, water, dust, shit everywhere. Back seats need to be cleaned. The whole back cage has to come out because I have to put the back seat covers in they're not in because i have to cut like a nice hole and that is uh i don't trust myself in doing that because i want it to be a tight hole around the cage itself so 
that's gonna be done. But I wanna get like the interior in it, the seats in it, so I could actually like drive it. That's the car. Put this rear trim on, you know. Don't mind this, this stuff is really hard to get off unless you really scrub at it for a long time. So what I'm doing, what I said, I'm taking the rear panels out. These, they're this factory gray color. And uh, I scuffed this one already. I cleaned it off and I'm gonna use some like, it's wet, uh, where is it? There it is. I might just hit it with some trim black. It's like a, OEM black trim finish. I think it modernizes the trunk a lot instead of this dusted gray color. So I scuffed it, cleaned it, let it dry. Now I gotta do two more panels, paint it, and then put it back in. It's just stuff like that that I have to do, but it also makes the car feel very complete when done. So I'm probably gonna throw the seats in and uh, yeah, once that's in, it'll feel like a car kinda. And then I could drive it without sitting on the floor, so that is super sick. Beat the hell out of this thing because it takes it, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna find out the weak points very soon. This car I made 468 pump, like 18 pounds. This thing, it rips, it does rip. This thing isn't that fast, but it's a good car. It's just a cruiser. But it does rip, it got a good pull to it. So I'm very stoked to see how this is gonna feel. Oh, it's weird seeing another, there's a seat in here. It's been a very long time. I got the Bride Low Max rails, which they aren't very low. I have the Recaro rails in the 14, and those are not low. They say low, low mount, but they all sit high. It's like a high tier on that. These are definitely better. I think these are the lowest you could go without like modifying it, or uh, Street Faction sells them too. But anyways, I don't know if I wanna keep these in here. I kind of have a set already. It's cool that they both have confettis because it's just a gas seat. These are in really good shape. These are original uh, upholstery. God damn it. Yo. What up? What you up to? Uh, working on my 13 a little bit. I'm about to just go home, scoop the shoes, and pop up on you. All right, I'll be here. As I was saying, so I don't know. I might run different seats than that. A more practical. A more a different seat different style damn seat there's a lot of nice seats but whatever continue to clean this one up put it in the damn car and there'll be seats in i would like to have put the rear panels in but i mean save that for another day i think i'll still go down the street without those pieces you know <laughs> functional drive it and then mess with that another day I'm dusted look at these things when your car's been sitting forever without telling me it's been sitting forever Jesus, dude, that was such a strong piece when I made it. It was so thick. I was like, oh, this will be a great fucking delete. It looks terrible now. I made mine out of metal. What? I made mine out of metal. Dude, this was a nightmare making. It was strong. I, yeah, it was strong at one point. Putting the badge back on her. Stupid clip though. You can't see in there. You should use your camera and then stuff your camera up there. Push it down. Huh? Push this down? Oh my hand. Battery I got. Come on. It's fucking tight. Don't warp the trunk. All right, so the damn key latch is on. The key thing, whatever, what do they call that? Key lock, trunk lock. What's a term for it? Oh, key, cylinder. key cylinder. This damn thing on, cut the trim. It's real tight. I don't know why the trunk's so damn tight. Welcome back home, buddy. Jesse. Hello. How's it going? Did you miss me? A little bit. It's been a long two weeks. You been working? Yeah, you're jet lagged up. Yeah. 
<laughs> I am. Even he is over there. No, he's, he's good. Inside of Vegas, hopefully you guys went to the brothel, you know? <laughs> Jesse brought me something back, you know. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Let me see. Waited for something. Got the uh, early release. I've had, he's had it for a while. What, are the, what did we got? A Supreme shoe box. You guys know. Looks like a van shoe box, too. It's wrapped up. <laughs> Y'all see it? Dancing. Can they see it on the camera? No, that's a fact. Can they see it? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was dancing when you moved it out to the Cambrizi. Can you see it? Yeah, no. You could see it. Hold on. Wait a minute. They oh. shining here, to be honest. Oh, they hit different. Holy shit. Picture on the foot. Bro. My room compared to here. <laughs> Your room don't got a light? They got a light, but it's not like... You know? There you go. Oh, Oh yeah, buddy. Shout out, Jesse. Those are tight. The plug. Those are tight. Those kind are tight. Kind of expensive for a van, but I mean, only special occasions when you go to weddings. They Swarovski. Oh, the real diamonds? Not as close as you could get. All right, diamonds are fake, anyways. <laughs> Those are plugs. Those are good. That's a good one for the closet. So, I gotta. Uh, I'm trying to put that seat in, but somebody cut my speaker wire for my door. It's cut. So I gotta uh, crimp the wire back together. You got this. I put the seat in, so I'm gonna do that. I need speakers. Mm -hmm. What's saying, buddy? All right, so as I was saying before. Yeah, cappuccino, right? It's time tire to shine. say goodbye to the cappuccino. So we're gonna what? Maybe tire shine the whole rear tires. The centers too. Yes. We seen it at SEMA. I guess it's a truck thing. They do the whole tire. tire. It was what? Crazy. That's it crazy. Yeah. Everything shine. Admit. <laughs> we replaced a lot of stuff since we filmed last. Look at that. Headlights, brand new old stock. Brand new. New shroud, hoses, terminal cap. Battery died out. Wiper engine, brand new. <laughs> I wish I had different bolts, but I feel like if I take these bolts out here, it's bad. The future buyers gonna open the hood. Oh, well maintained. Seats are in the coupe. Stereo works. Trunks on, shuts, latch. Oh yeah. Put these on. But that's a wrap for today. I think I should get some adhesion, adhesion promoter. So the black will stick more. So I'm gonna get that tomorrow. Spray those, put it in the car battery box and then uh, take it for a drive. So see you guys in the next one or tomorrow.